Hi, it's Jennifer at Jennifer at Home, and I'm so happy you're here because today I'm going to be making the super easy as ever homemade pizza bowls. These pizza bowls happen to be low carb and keto friendly for those of you eating on that type of plan. My husband Alan and I are not eating on that plan, but because we love pizza so much, and of course we don't have pizza crust handy at the house, and it takes a while for, to make it from scratch and have a homemade pizza crust. So we're just as happy and just as content to throw all of the ingredients we love into a nice little bowl, put it in the oven, get it warm and toasty with melted cheese, and it's ready to eat in no time. It literally only took about two minutes to put all of this together and put it in the oven. I had the oven preheating at 375, and then we put the bowls together, put them in the oven, and about 30 minutes later, they were done. In the meantime, we made a salad and had a nice refreshing summer salad to eat with our pizza bowls. Let me show you how quick and easy these really are. I have the oven preheating to 375. Let me show you everything you'll need to make these super easy little pizza cups. I have two little pie dishes here, and I have sprayed these, but you can butter or grease anything you'd like to put in those to keep anything from sticking. I have some pepperoni, some Parmesan cheese to put on afterwards, some pre-cooked ground sausage, and some pepper jack cheese. You could use mozzarella or any cheese of your desire. I also have some sliced green olives. I know my husband will love those. And of course, some pizza sauce. This is regular pizza sauce, but if you're doing low carb or keto, all you need to do is trade the regular pizza sauce out for sugar free. Let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is to put this recipe together. The oven's ready. Now let's hurry up and get this put together so we can get these in the oven. So in the little cups, I'm gonna put in this pre-cooked sausage. You can buy cooked sausage already cooked, or you can just buy it and cook it yourself. I bought this sausage and just cooked it in a skillet until it was completely done. So I'm gonna make a base with the sausage, and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of cheese, just a small little sprinkle to hold all the sausage together and you can put anything in these you like. This is so much easier than having to deal with a pizza crust. All right, I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of sauce. And you can add seasonings to this. You can add garlic powder, basil, Italian seasoning, anything you'd like. Now I'm gonna put on some pepperoni. Just put as many as you'd like. The best thing about this is everybody can make their own. Even the kids can sit down and put together their own pizza bowl. There we go, just like that. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese and just layer it however you want. You can't mess this up. It's just that easy. There's so many toppings you can add. Toppings are unlimited. I'm just gonna add some of the basics here today so I can show you just how to put this together. Just kind of spread that sauce around a little bit and all this cheese will melt. I prefer a little less sauce on mine than my husband does. So I have his here, and I'm gonna go ahead and layer the green olives around on the top. Just like this. And that's the last layer. Now I'm gonna put a little more cheese. You can't have too much cheese. And there we have it. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven and bake these at 375 until the cheese is melted and it's nice and gooey. The pizza bowls are in the oven. While the pizza bowls are in the oven, it's a really great time to put together a salad. Salad is the perfect complement 
to the pizza bowl. The salads are ready and the pizza bowls just came out of the oven. They smell incredible. They smell like a fresh baked pizza. I don't even think we're even going to miss the crust. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy super easy meals like this where there's no measuring. You just put it together and put it in the oven. I know if you'll give these a try, you'll really, really enjoy them and your family will too. Everybody can put together their very own pizza bowl. I would be so happy if you subscribe, hit the notification bell and the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time.